to my channel. If you're new, my name is Courtney, and every Friday I bring you guys my weekly grocery haul for my family of five. This week I went to all the places, it feels like. <laughs> Most of my groceries came from HEB. I did have to do a small curbside pickup at Walmart because there were some things I needed at the HEB either sold out of or just doesn't carry. So I did a quick curbside over there. It was really small. Um, I also did a really quick curbside at Sam's Club. So what happened was, <laughs> I went last week and discovered Sam's Club sells grain-free dog food, which is what I have to purchase because one of my dogs cannot have grain. Um, they were sold out, so I was not able to purchase it last week. But uh, this week they had it in stock, so I just did a curbside pickup there. I got like four or five items, like almost nothing. Um, I'll show you guys that in just a minute. But since I was getting the dog food, I was like, I should put something else in there. I feel really bad if they're just bringing out dog food. So I got just some practical stuff that we'll use around the house and like two things that we needed. So, um, like I said, the bulk of my groceries are from Walmart. One thing I do not have on the counter is I spent like literally two or three minutes inside of Market Street. They have ground beef on sale. If you're seeing this video, um, it is still on sale and it will be on sale um, all the way through the weekend. Um, the sale ends Tuesday night. So ground beef, $85.15. It is on sale for $2.97 a pound, which is much cheaper than you're going to find it anywhere else right now, at least where I live. So I stopped in there and I got, I think it was four, no, five, five pounds of ground beef. I didn't put it on the counter, um, so I spent like 16 bucks in total there. But five pounds of ground beef for 16 bucks is really, really good because where I'm living, five pounds of ground beef is like $24, $25, sometimes more. Uh, so I was really, really thrilled with that deal. Okay, on to the meal plan. So, zucchini taco boats. I have never had them. I've seen people make them. I have seen them all over Pinterest. They look really, really good. So I'm jumping on the train and we're having zucchini taco boats one night. Um, on my channel, I have made a garlic butter fish dish. Um, the first time I made it, I followed the recipe. So it was like a pan fried cod um, that was like battered and pan fried and then you bake it the last few minutes. So I'm trying something new, cutting out the middleman. I got crispy fish planks. We're going to try that instead of me having to pan fry it. Um, I found a recipe for something called Awesome Baked Pork Chops. I have pork chops and I hope they're awesome. So we're going to try this recipe. I bought those chicken drumsticks that you're going to see in my grocery haul in a minute. I may or may not cook those. Originally, I was going to bake them in the oven with some kind of marinade or seasoning, but my husband's been wanting to grill. This week is like way too windy to grill. I'm in West Texas. It is a literal dirt storm outside right now. I bought my groceries in a dirt, dirt storm. It was miserable. Um, and it's going to be windy for the majority of the next week. No grilling for us. So I may save those um, in the deep freeze and then he can grill them the following weekend. I found a recipe for creamy garlic chicken. Sounds really good. So I'd like to make that. And then over the weekend, we're just going to kind of hang out, play some video games. We don't have any plans. So we're going to have frozen pizzas. Uh, fried cheese sticks, which you'll see in my grocery haul, and probably some sandwiches because I have some little uh, slider buns in my freezer. As far as lunches for the week go and breakfast, I will be making blueberry muffins for everybody's breakfast next week. Um, well, at least my husband and my oldest son. I don't really eat breakfast, and my younger two eat different things, especially Cam because he um, is gluten-free and dairy-free and egg-free. Uh, Let's see, lunches, I'll be having Caesar salads, I got some cottage cheese, and I'll make like homemade Lunchables. Um, my kids will have probably like chicken nuggets and stuff like that. And then uh, for my husband, I'm going to make a chicken and rice casserole. Uh, so that's our meal plan over the next week. That is our breakfast, our lunches, and our dinner. Anyway, let me go ahead and flip you guys around and show you all of the stuff I bought. We'll run through everything, and uh, then I'll talk to you again. All right, guys, here is the grocery haul. Like I said, I didn't put the... Um, the ground beef out and that's okay just know I got five pounds of ground beef from Market Street um, it was a good deal two ninety seven a pound so yeah like I said if you live near Market Street get over there I'm going to start first I'm gonna fight my dogs <laughs> I'm gonna start down here on the floor with the Sam's Club haul there are our dogs uh, the husky is Kiba and that little guy over there is Gustavo but I'm thinking about calling him Gus I don't know anyway this is my Sam's Club haul we got some grain-free, high-protein chicken and vegetable recipe dog food. Normally, I buy the HEB brand um, Heritage Ranch, which I love. That is such good quality dog food. Amazing quality. This is also good quality. I researched it. I read about it and stuff. There's no corn, no wheat, no soy, no artificial preservatives, colors, or flavors. No byproduct meal. This is good dog food. So, I got this because I'm getting 28 pounds for the price I'm popping up on the screen right here, I can't remember what it was, versus I get 11 pounds for the current price at HEB this week was almost $25. 
this is a way better deal. So I'm getting this. And really, this guy right here is huge. Oh, they found the bag. Guys, no, don't eat that. Gustavo, um, this guy's huge. He eats a lot of dog food. So, uh, you know, if I can find a better deal, then I'm going to take that better deal. Okay, in here I did get some cheese. If you guys have a Sam's Club membership, go there for cheese. It's less than $6 to get two pounds of cheese. You cannot beat that price right now. I also got some black peppercorns. You guys watch my cooking videos. I do uh, fresh ground black pepper. So I got some Sam's Club fresh ground black pepper because it was the best price. I'm also running low on salt, so I got some salt. There's another dog. <laughs> Gustavo move. And then I got some Parmesan cheese just because, you know, I mean, the real stuff is great, but we're simple. We like the shaker stuff too. Okay, I've got to get up these dogs. <laughs> these dogs are taking over. Okay. Okay, let's run through the HEB stuff. Uh, sorry, I've got my slow cooker going. I am roasting a whole chicken. That will be in the What's for Dinner that's coming up on Monday if you're interested. All right, so back here I got some chocolate almond milk. Uh, I actually got two of these, but I put the other one in the fridge just so I could save some counter space. I got some plain potato chips. You guys see these every week in my haul. They are my son Camden's favorite. And look, they are gluten-free. One of the few things he loves that he can still have. Back here I have some Gain fabric softener. Um, the pickings are slim in the, the laundry section. I don't know what that's about. So Gain is something I've always enjoyed. I love the scent. Um, so I just went ahead and picked up some Gain. I got six or seven Roma tomatoes in here for salads. I've got three poblano peppers. Um, I can mix salsa with them. And I may make a, um, what is it? Oh my gosh, I can't remember what it's called now. It's a, a Mexican dish with the uh, fried pepper and they stuff it with like meat or cheese. Chili relleno, chili relleno. I may make a chili relleno casserole. I absolutely love, love, love chili relleno. It's one of my favorite dishes. They are a lot of work to make, but I found a casserole. I may or may not make it. If I feel like it, I will. If not, we're gonna have salsa. I got some cucumbers for snacks and salads. I thought I'd whip up some hummus and I like to dip cucumbers in that. I also got some zucchini for those uh, taco zucchini boats. Back here I got some romaine lettuce. I really wanted to get it from Sam's Club, but all of the Sam's Clubs near me are sold out of romaine lettuce, so I just got it at HEV. I got some fresh dill just because I love it and I'm gonna use it for the fish dish I'm making, plus I'll just uh, chop it up and put it in my salads. Got some bananas because we went right through that last batch of bananas. I did get some mangoes. They were on sale too for a dollar, so I got four. I got three pounds of apples because we like apples. Um, I got two packs of green onions because we really like those as well. They're nice in salads and stuff like that. Um, these are the scent beads. I wanted the gain kind, but this is a way better deal. This was five dollars, and the gain was like seven forty-four, and I didn't get as much. So I'm gonna try these. They smell pretty similar to gain. I think it'll work out fine. I got two cans of chili with no beans. It's just a simple, quick meal. Like my husband likes chili by itself, or he likes to put it over a baked potato, or he'll put it on some french fries, or whatever. He's really agreeable to anything with chili on it. So I try to keep that on hand, just in case I don't feel like cooking. Uh, I got two more cans of peas, because man, we go through peas. Jensen loves peas, the dogs love peas. We go through a lot of peas. I did get two cans of green enchilada sauce, just to have on hand, because we like enchiladas. I got these two cans of red gold tomato love. These are like um, Rotel, but they are by the red gold brand and they were buy one get one free at HEB. So I went ahead and got those. And then I got one can of red enchilada sauce uh, just to have on hand. I already have one, so now I have two. I got this chocolate milk mix because it is dairy free. So I can always put it into some almond milk if I need to or something like that. Then I got a can of garbanzo beans so I can make some homemade um, hummus. Back here I got some Worcestershire sauce. It's just the HEV brand. We were running low and I use that all the time so I got some more. I got two uh, things of hand soap. I just noticed the downstairs bathroom is almost out and my boys bathroom upstairs is almost out so I grabbed two. I also got some cottage cheese. That's for my lunches. And I got two more of these sparkling waters. They're really really good. I got cherry and lime. Jensen really likes the lime. I got a five pound bag of jasmine rice. I have been having a really hard time finding rice. Like a really, really, really hard time. Typically I get it from Sam's Club. They've been sold out. I tried to get different brands at Sam's Club and everything and they're just wiped out. I tried at Walmart and they didn't have very much. So I got this at HEB. I don't know what the deal is, but rice is hard to come by. Uh, gluten free chicken nuggets. Camden loves chicken nuggets and he can't have gluten and stuff. So I got these. He likes these a lot. These are fried mozzarella sticks, fried cheese sticks. 
I have been craving these so much. I got some a couple of weeks ago at Arby's when we were out buying groceries. Um, I was trying to grab something quick for lunch, so I got some of these, and Jensen ate some, and he loved them, and he's been asking for them. So I thought, well, I'll pick up a box, and I'll just cook them this weekend, and we'll munch on those. I did get um, just 18 eggs this time because we still had some left, so I didn't need another giant pack of them. This is a pork loin roast. It was $4 and, geez, I can't see the price on Four dollars and sixty-five, sixty-six cents. It was a really good deal. Um, it's really nice quality. So I went in and picked that up. I don't have plans for it right now, but um, I'll think of something. It was on sale, and I just figured it'd be great to have on hand. I got these chicken drumsticks. It is a lot. Two, four, six, eight, twelve, thirteen drumsticks for four dollars and forty-one cents. That's not bad at all. And then um, this chicken down here. Those drumsticks are heavy. This chicken right here was also on sale. We really like this preseason stuff. It's the leg quarters. This is Southwest. You know, I'm just going to butcher that word. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, it's great Southwestern flavor. It's great in the oven. It's great on the grill. We really like these leg quarters. And they were $3.43. You cannot beat that. This is actually probably two meals worth of chicken in my household because um, I'll only eat half of one of these. And my two younger kids won't eat any of this at all because they don't like the flavor. And then, of course, my husband and my oldest will eat a whole one by themselves. We might be able to stretch that for two nights. I don't know. Uh, back here, I got another bag of these baked uh, potato chips because I got some last week. And they were a hit with, well, not Camden. I got them for Camden. He didn't like them. But Jensen loved them. So I got some more. Jensen's been sick this week, so I thought he really deserved some kind of treat. I got some Caesar dressing because I was totally out. I love, love, love Caesar salad. Um, and I felt like having that for lunch this week, so I made sure I got some dressing. I got some ham. Lunch meat was pretty picked over, but I was able to find this. Typically, I like the um, Oscar Mayer. That's my favorite, but they just didn't have any, so I got the HEB brand. I got a pineapple, just because we've been enjoying eating pineapple. Down here, I got unbleached flour. So I made um, a sourdough starter, and it's, it's worked okay. I've used it a number of times, but it doesn't feel like the dough rises as much as it should. Then I heard somebody talking the other day, and they were like, you have to use unbleached flour, otherwise your starter is going to be really flat. And I thought, well, I did not use unbleached flour. So I'm going to throw my starter out, and I'm going to start again with unbleached flour. I did get a cantaloupe. This guy is huge, 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 huge. I am so excited about this. I hope it's good. We love cantaloupe. I needed some quart size zip top bags, so I got those. I was running low on onions, so I got these um, Sweet Texas 1015 onions. Um, this is like margarine, I know, but for toast and waffles and stuff, we do like this. And we were almost out, so I went ahead and picked up another little container. Th there was really not much to choose from. The they had the giant containers and all the brands, but the little ones were wiped out. So I got the Land O'Lakes. I, I think I've had Land O'Lakes before. I think it's good. I got these Chips Ahoy Chunky, because we all like these cookies. They're really, really good. And then the last thing I got at H-E-B was just a plain loaf of bread. There wasn't a lot of bread to choose from, and the prices were really, really high. So I just got this regular plain bread for like toast and sandwiches throughout the week. And that's all for H-E-B. Let's just zip right over here. <laughs> There's Walmart. Um, H-E-B was out of my almond milk that I've been getting. And honestly, Walmart was almost out too. So I ordered two. I only got one. But I did get that. I got some, I can't remember, lightly dried I think is what it is. Mm -hmm. Is it lightly dried? Yep, lightly dried basil. I love this stuff for making like a praise salads and stuff just because it lasts a long time in my fridge. Um, I used the fresh basil last time because they subbed it. They were sold out of this, but I really just prefer this because it lasts for so much longer. I got some e.l.f. eyeliner. Typically I get the pen kind, but they didn't have any. The only ones they had were like $15 by a different brand, and I didn't want to pay that much. I don't wear makeup every day, just a couple of times a week. So I, I kind of just stick to cheaper stuff. So I just got this one. I think it'll be fine. I haven't like used the paintbrush style in a long time. So if I look funny in my next video, just keep in mind I'm, I'm learning to paint my eyeliner on. So just bear with me. Uh, Jensen had asked for pretzels, so I did get some pretzels. I got some Swiss cheese. This will go with that ham over there. H-E-B was just sold out. Um, so I got this at Walmart, and I'll just make like ham and cheese melts over the weekend probably. I did get my coffee creamer at Walmart because H-E-B didn't have the, the big size in their store brand, and the name brands have gotten really, really expensive. So I got this. It's chocolate caramel and sweet Italian cream. My husband really prefers hazelnut or vanilla, but those were sold out everywhere. So I just got these two. My oldest son did ask for some deodorant, so got him deodorant. 
And I got two rulers. I feel like this is like the fifth time this year I've bought rulers. They keep breaking in the schoolroom. Um, but I got some more rulers because we've been working on measuring again. I did get some balloons for my kids. Cam likes balloons a lot. He likes to play with them and stuff. So I picked up two packs. I got some printer paper. This is 750 sheets. Um, we print a lot because I use the free, the good and the beautiful um, reading and math. So you have to print it out yourself. So it goes through, I go through a lot of paper. Plus I print out other homeschool stuff too and my kids draw on it and things like that. So I need it some more. Um, HEB does not always sell printer paper and when they do it's like way, way expensive. So I typically have to get that at Walmart. Um, I got some baking soda and some baking powder and some cornmeal so I can make cornbread. <laughs> we don't have it that often but we have it every now and again and this is just cheaper and easier than buying the mixes. I did get this gluten-free chocolate fudge brownie mix because I heard somebody say that this was the best. Kim loves brownies, he can't have gluten, so we will give this a shot. Down here I got this OxyClean laundry and home sanitizer. I'm almost out of my Lysol, and I saw this, I've never tried it, but I thought I would give it a shot, especially because it's multi-purpose. You can use it around your home, not just in the laundry. So I thought maybe this would be a better bang for my buck. This is some crunchy breaded fish fillets. I'll use this to make that fish meal I was talking about. I got some ground turkey for the turkey zucchini boats. And then I got some butter because um, both the Sam's Clubs near me have been sold out of butter for a while. And I'm starting to run low. I think I have one four pack left. I actually ordered some last week and didn't get it. And I ordered two of these this week and I only got this one. So I guess butter is harder to come by right now. But that is it. For Walmart, that is it for HEB. I showed you Sam's Club, so that's it for my grocery haul. All right guys, so that is all the stuff I purchased this week. I went down the mill plant. Oh, one cool thing I wanna show you. So I did curbside, not at the Sam's Club closest to my house, the one that's like 15 miles away. Uh, the one closest to me never does this, but the one that's 15 miles away gives out little goodie bags a lot of times with curbside. So this week I got um, Pepsid AC, there's eight uh, what is it, eight tablets in there. I've never tried Pepsid, but I may give it a shot because sometimes I do actually um, have like heartburn and stuff. So we'll see. Uh, I also got a whole box of Cheetos mac and cheese. I've heard a lot of people saying they don't like this stuff. I've had it. My youngest son likes it. I don't mind it. It smells funny because it smells like a bag of Cheetos, but it tastes okay. I mean, if you like mac and cheese, then you know, it's mac and cheese. It's nothing fancy. It's like the cheap stuff, but it's good. Uh, then I also got a Monster Energy drink. It is ultra peachy keen. We don't drink energy drinks. Um, it's just not something we do, so I'll probably just give this away. I know a lot of friends and family that drink this stuff, so anyway, I think that was it. Yeah, that is all that came in the little goodie bag, but I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, just to get some freebies just for ordering and doing curbside there is actually pretty awesome. Anyway, that's it for this week. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week, and I hope you have an awesome weekend. Stay tuned to my channel. Click all the buttons so that you can keep up with all of my content. I will have a What's for Dinner coming out Monday. It'll feature all of the meals I talked about in last week's grocery haul. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, I will see you really soon. Have a great one. Bye.